stepped in at that time. Get the machine gun set up over there. Everybody else, inside the bunker. Move. Think about that. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, they think we can get up that hill like crazy. Crops on every inch of it. Okay, Kirby, I got it. That's tough, all right. Stuff isn't the word. On top of that starts had to buy it. I wonder what Lieutenant Hanley's going to do now. working on him. Who is it? It's not too bad, Lieutenant. I don't pay any attention to him, Lieutenant. He's got a hole there you could lose a grenade in. How are we doing out there, Lieutenant? They give up yet? I make it. Two machine guns, barbed wire each pillbox. How about you? See anything else? I don't need anything else. Now, Doc, forget it. My leg doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet it doesn't. I don't want it. Not until we get what we came for, I'm not going to be any good asleep. Maybe quite a while before we get what we came for. Well, then you ought to take the shot. Now, Doc, I don't want it. If the pain gets any worse, give him the shot. Don't pay any attention to it. Yes, sir. Oh, we bought some trouble, huh? A little. Sure glad I'm not wearing those bars. Well, I see enough hills to know. Crocs up on top like that. Nothing but open ground all the way up here. Said nothing short of a miracle gets on top of that hill. Amen. We might be able to make it if we have a little help. Like a battalion? Yeah. Cross off that hill zero it in if you make as much as one move, and you've had it. All right, knock off that kind of talk. The whole division is moving up this morning, and we're part of it. We're going out and take that hill. Lieutenant, I've been thinking. The ground sort of rises there on the right. Maybe if a man, maybe one man. Could climb within range and throw a few grenades. If he's fast enough, he could succeed. Are you volunteering? Well, uh, I run fast enough and I keep real low. All right, Cage, you gotta crack at it. 
But the minute they see you, I want you to give me elbows and heels all the way down. That's what I had in mind. Impossible, Lieutenant. A worm couldn't get up that hill. All right, Cage. I can't do any good from here, Lieutenant. Yeah. We'll have to get your machine gun closer. Kirby? Yes, sir. The machine gun is useless where it is. We've got to get it at least halfway up the hill where it has a field of fire. I pick three men, stand by with the gun on the left flank. About 200 yards up the draw, there's a dip in the ground. That's where you dig in. I'll get you cover. Okay, Lieutenant. Huh? Chester. Morgan. Einstein, you guys stand by. Better shed your packs, too. Kirby, I'll give you three to one. We both don't get off the hill this time. You're under arithmetic. What do you know? The tables don't lie. I've got this whole law figure. Would you like to see my tables? What kind of tables are you talking about? Actuarial table. It's all in here. It's the percentages of who dies, who lives, how long. Does it tell you why? I don't deal in philosophy, Kirby. Just numbers. Three to one, huh? That's right. Three to one. Worse odds than that. I could use about 50 bucks of it. Bet? Bet. That's right. Two bunkers flanking the road. We're gonna need help to take them. They own the whole hillside. What about an artillery mission? Coordinates 347-339. Artillery's tied up right now, Hanley. Well, then the 81s, if I only had some smoke. I can't let you have the 81s either. They're being used by Howe Company. I can let you have company mortars. No, that's not good enough. I need big stuff. Well, that's all I got, Hanley. You want them? All right. They're better than nothing. Both flanks are moving well. You're the only unit that's held up, Hanley. Those bunkers of yours have also stopped item company on your left. What's more important, we need that road. Now, the old man's gonna start making noises. So you get those bunkers. All right, we'll get them. Just give me the mortars. We'll try again when they come in. Out. Well, I can't get over. They dug in up here. Now they push us down that hill like they owed it. Punch it. I've got to hand it to them relatives of yours. Oh, didn't I tell you? Us Germans make the best soldiers in the world. <laughs> I'd come out with this with a chest full of medals. Yavo. Well, there's one thing. I'm too scared to move. What's wrong with you? You can't think that way. You beat before you start. Now, I got it all doped out when we were up there before. If you figure, they won't hit you. They won't. You gotta keep the right frame of mind. And, uh, Kleinschmidt, they ain't gonna hit me. Stay loose, kid. We got mortars coming in. How big, Lieutenant? 60 millimeter. 
Well, we might as well throw rocks at them as use those things. We need some artillery in there. We take what we can get. I asked for artillery. Maybe we get it later. Well, that's just fine. You use the draw to shield yourself part of the way up. The mortars will hold them down while you set the gun in place. Concentrate your fire to the bunker on the right. If you can hold them down, we'll take it from the flank. That's a big if, Lieutenant. You make it smaller, Kirby. When the mortars come in, I'll send you out. Yes, sir. What about that, Einstein? Odds still three to one? Nothing but company mortars? Four to one. You ready? Never ready. But I'll go when you do. Hey, Kirby. Huh? This lieutenant, he know what he's doing. What are you talking about? Sure he knows what he's doing. Sure he does. Well, I see a lot of second Louis in my kind of work. I'd just like to know. Well, don't worry about it. He's been around a long time. He knows exactly what he's doing. Well, I hope so. Very fond of my neck. Lieutenant, that's a big order. If we only had some smoke... We can't get smoke. The 81s are tied up. They're looking right down our throats. That's right, little John. Right down our throats. Yeah, but... But what? Come on. Got any ideas? No, sir. All right. Anybody else? Like I said, if we only had some smoke. Yeah. I just don't know what they expect us to do. They expect us to wrap up that hill and deliver it to battalion headquarters, that's what. Well, good luck. Doc. What's happening out there? Hey, why don't we take that shot now, huh? Can't you answer a simple question I asked you? What's happening out there? Kirby's gonna try to get a machine gun up the hill. What kind of cover? Artillery? Company mortar. That's all there is. Yeah, now, wait a minute. Just take it easy. You can't do anything about it now, anyway. Hiya, Serge. How you doing? You tell me. Okay, I guess. The lieutenant knows what he's doing. What's bothering you, little John? The mortars? Yeah. They won't even dent the bunkers. Well, they can keep the crowds down, give you a chance to get the machine gun into position. Maybe. I wish you were with us. Well, I'm not. This isn't your first action, little John. I just don't want it to be my last. All right, you better get out there. You got work to do. Right, sir. Do you really think those mortars will do the job? They'll have to. Mortars. side where you can see.
Kirby. Come up with me. We'll cover you while you bring the guy. Let's go.
Let's get him to the decent shot at him. Hold that crap down, Carl. Let's get out of here. Hey, sir. Hey. Okay, roll, roll, roll off. Hold oh, it. Back to the bunker. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Oh. I guess we showed them. I never saw anything like it. It was murder. Sent men out with nothing but company mortars. That's all we had. Uh, you can tell that to Chester, the gunner. Only you can't, because they're dead. How many more? I don't know, Sarge. It's like a meat grinder up there. It just ain't right to send men up when they don't have a chance. It didn't do any good, and there ought to be a better way to do it. Kirby, you were supposed to get that gun into action. Lieutenant, a gun out in the open can't shoot it out with a gun in a bunker. I had two men dead up there and one shot up. Just what is it you want out of me, Lieutenant? Easy, Kirby. Sarge, it wasn't easy up on that hill. We can't move without a base of fire. Then, Lieutenant, you tell me how we're gonna move, because I just don't know how to give you a base of fire. All right, Kirby, get back with the men. Elias, set that gun up. Sir, may I speak with you? Yeah. Lieutenant, we've been together a long time, and uh, we do what we're told. So? So, you know, you know we don't mind tough jobs if we have a chance. But we're going up that hill with our bare hands. That's right, Lieutenant. I don't think we can ever take it. We're going to. One way or the other, we're going to take it. Get me company. Lieutenant, what I mean is, nobody likes to get killed. And it's worse if, if it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense? Is that why we're here? No, sir, I mean, I mean, if we only had some help. Well, help is one thing we don't have. Captain? Lieutenant Handley. Captain's on, Lieutenant. Now, you meant to stand by and wait for orders. Yes, sir. This is Handley. Captain, the mortars were ineffective. We went up the hill and they pushed us off again. My casualties are high. You have to take them, Handley. We're going to need some help. Our reserves are committed. No artillery is available. Well, what about a tank? No chance. Wait a minute. There could be one. But I'll see what I can do. I can't promise anything. Neither can I, unless we get some help. You have a bazooka. I can't get close enough to use it. Lieutenant, those bunkers have to be taken with or without help. Now, it's up to you. We need that road. What about the first or third platoon? They got their own problems, Hanley. There are other roads to clear. Their hands are full, but they're moving up. You're not. The old man called in, wants to know what's holding you up. I'd like to show him. The 1st and 2nd Battalions have taken their primary objectives and are moving against the secondaries. You know what that leaves us, don't you? A big hole between us and them on both flanks. I know, Captain, but... No buts, Lieutenant. Battalion commander wants action and he wants it now. Now, you move out and get those bunkers. I don't care what it takes. Yes, sir. We'll try again. Out. You heard it right. We try again, we're gonna take it. Even if it kills us. We're going to take it.
go again, Lieutenant? Yep. We go again. Any help? Nope. Nothing's changed. They're still up there. We gotta go and get them. We'll do it. One way or the other. Doc. How many men have we lost? Seven. Seven, huh? track. All right. Maybe I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But I can tell when something's impossible. And this is. Tell that to the lieutenant. He'll love you for it. Well, isn't it? Who knows? Maybe he's got some new ideas. Some new artillery, some new tanks. That's what we need. He'll get us what he can. A grave. That's what he'll get us. So you've had it hard. Hard enough, lieutenant. Lieutenant, why doesn't the captain get off the backs? If he knew what we were going up against... It wouldn't make any difference. He's got his orders the same as we have. I'd just like to see him carry out the orders on this thing. He doesn't have to. That's what we're here for. Well, I think that he... You can quit thinking. Just follow orders. Now, here it is. I asked for a tank. Maybe we get it, maybe we don't. Whichever, we can't wait for it. We can't do it alone, either. We're going to. All alone. With what we've got. And it's not open for discussion. Yes, sir. Cage, I want you to pick six of the best rifle shots we've got in the platoon. You're going to take them as far as you can up the center. I want rapid, well-aimed fire laid down on those bunkers. Well-aimed, you understand? Yes, sir. Little John? Kirby? Not Kirby. They're going to cover for you, Kirby. You're going to take the machine gun up the left again, through the draw. They're going to hold the Germans down when you get the gun into place. Lieutenant, if mortars couldn't do that job, those peace shooters... I said it wasn't open for discussion. Now, when you get the gun in action and get the bunker pinned down, I'm going to move the platoon up under your cover and get within bazooka range. That's it. That's enough. Pick your man, Kirby. You too, Cage. When cows give beer, on top of that, sergeant's got to be out of it. You shut your mouth, Kirby. I've about had it with you. Now, we're moving out like I said, and that's all you have to know. This war doesn't depend on any one man. Not you, not me, not Saunders, not even the company commander. All I meant was that... It's what I meant that counts. You're that man. I never saw him that jumpy before. How would you like to be in his shoes? Well, if I was, we'd be heading for the rear right now, I can tell you that. Don't kid yourself, Kirby. You would be hitting your head on these walls just like he's doing because you wouldn't have a choice. You still don't have to jump all over us like that. Who's blaming him? Maybe he is. You girl? No. She goes on with anything in pants and takes them. You know the type. You know something else? I give six months pay to be with her right now. Being taken. <laughs> you ain't worried about those blood relations of yours up on the hill, are you, Clint Schmidt? What do you think? Well, it wouldn't hurt a countryman like you. That's what I figured. Except how are they gonna know? Hey, what if I goose-stepped all the way up, huh? <laughs> Something funny? <laughs> Very. <laughs> hey, might get a kick out of this. We gotta go up the hill again with that machine gun. We? Yeah, you too, Klein Smith. Both of you better stand by. Bad 
glad you've been out before. It's worse now. I'm scared to death. Don't think about it. Remember what I told you? If you don't think they're gonna hit you, they won't. Huh? If you don't think they're gonna hit you, they won't. One this time. 21, huh? That's how it comes out. How much do you owe me now? $18,972.41. Well, I'll get rich if I live. All right. Cage, you and your men are going to go up on your bellies. Zero in on those bunkers, especially the one on the right. We need hits. Line them up and squeeze them off. A gun port isn't much of a target, Lieutenant. It's all the target you get. Staggered fire, but aimed fire, understand? Yes, sir. You ready, Kirby? Yes, sir. Use the draw to cover you on the way up. As soon as the rifles open fire, dig that gun in. I want it in action. Yes, sir. Hey, Kirby. You think we're going to make it? I don't know. Just shut up and follow us. You all set? Yes, sir. What do you want, Doc? Well, sir, I was thinking if those mortars couldn't do the job, uh, they'd pack a lot more power than a few rifles. When I want to hear from you, I'll ask you. send my troops out to take a couple of bunkers that... That can't be taken? I don't know, Saunders. Go on to back inside. Get off your feet. There's nothing you can do here. You sure, Lieutenant? I'm sure. It's all mine. And I'll take care of it. I never doubted it.
прямо в кейдж. I can hit or something. I'm not gonna get hit. Oh, talk. Send out next time, Lieutenant.
has to be a limit, Saunders. There has to be. I told you to stay off that leg. Any other time, we can walk away from it. This time, we can't. We either succeed or we die. We've been in rough spots before, Lieutenant. There was always a way out before. An answer. Not this time. Well, maybe there is. We're not dead yet. We're not done yet. Kirby, you left the gun up there. It ain't going no place, Lieutenant. You should have brought it down. We were lucky to get ourselves down. All right, Kirby. We'll get it later. Kirby, if you're interested, I now owe you $379,448.20. Huh? The odds are still alive. I lost. Well, come on, pay me, Einstein. Soon, soon. You know, next time the odds go up. Get it off it. Don't talk to me about the next time. I ain't over this time yet. Huh. We're licking the odds. Both of us. No, it's amazing. It's not possible, but we're doing it. Amazing. Maybe you ought to quit now. I've had a belly full of that hill. Well, go tell it to the man. He doesn't like it any more than you do. He's got his orders. You knock it off about them orders things. I know all about them orders. He so has them. Gage, will you get a load of that thing there? He's finally reached an independent conclusion. The lieutenant still has his orders. Just get off my back, you big lug. All right, Kirby. It's hard enough on everybody. What's the matter with him? Morgan bought it up on that hill. They were close. Lesson one. Don't get close. Is that all he gets? Man goes up and dies. That's all you can say? What do you want me to say? Something, I don't know. Morgan's dead. Too, Kleinschmidt. You lose a lot of friends in this war. <sighs> it's the name of the game. But nobody even notices. That doesn't mean anything. It means something. Look at Lieutenant Hanley. Look, Captain, we tried three times. We went up cold, we went up under mortar cover, we went up under sniper cover. We got clobbered each time. I can't just keep sending my men up there without effective help. I just can't. Hanley, you gotta move. We need that road. Captain, you're holding up half a battalion. Then give me something to move with. Give me something to do the job with. You talked about a tank, send it. I know it's essential, but my losses are heavy. I'm down to 50% effective as it is. Can't you send the tank? Mortars don't even touch them. I need big stuff. No good. Nothing? Get some mortar fire on RJ. Two fifteen. We ought to have the 81s back before long. Well, that'll help. Maybe. But we can't wait, Hanley. You move against those bunkers now. I what? You're asking me to send my men up there again without cover? No heavy mortars, no tanks? It's not a request, Hanley. 
Sir, I've been up three times. We've been down three times. How many casualties do you think I can take? You go up again. Can't we wait for the tank? I'll give you ten minutes. That tank hasn't arrived to move out again. And don't tell me it's tough. I know it is. But it's got to be done. A battalion is catching them from regiment. They want results. All right, Captain. We wait ten minutes. Then we try again. Out. Did we hear you right, sir? We're going up again. There's a gap on both sides of us. They want it closed. They want the road so we can advance all along the line. Lieutenant, we're one lousy half strike platoon here. What do they expect from us? The hills, the bunkers, the road. Well, are they crazy? We can't do that. It wouldn't be one man come off that hill. Those are the orders. Well, orders? It's easy to give orders. It's easy to send men out to die. That's been going on here all day long. Hurry! Let him go. Look, we've tried. Now we've done the best that we can do. You sit here and you tell us to go up on that hill. And we go up there and we get clobbered. Don't understand you can get clobbered so much and then you've just had it, Lieutenant. And believe me, we've had it. We're not going up there anymore. Are you through, Kirby? Lieutenant... Can't do it anymore. I said, are you through? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm through. All right. Now, you've had it rough. And now that you've told me all about it, Get ready to do your job. All of you. We've only got eight minutes left. has to do is send the word down and they expect us to go out there again. They sit with their maps and their lines. They forget they're talking about flesh and blood. Men die when a bullet hits them. You know any casualties we have? How many dead? Ten. Ten men who were alive when I brought them in here today. Lying out there. On that lousy, stinking hill. They 
you through, Lieutenant. I asked you if you were through. All right. You had it rough. And now that you told me all about it, you better... You better get ready to do your job. lying up on that hill. Like I'm backed off, just looking at my own body lying there. It's one time too many, that's all. What odds does Einstein give you? Doesn't even matter. The crowd up there right now, carving a notch on this gun butt. Go up there again, I'm gonna get it. I feel it. This time we're going up the middle. Zero it in on our flank movements. Keep low and don't punch up. Lay down all the fire you can. Take the best cover you can get. All right, stand by. for me. Some guarantees you're going to make it? There aren't any. There's still two bunkers of Germans up there. They're going to keep us off those hills if they can. They've done a pretty good job of it, Lieutenant. We're going to leapfrog. And twos and threes. First you with two men, Kirby. Kleinschmidt and Einstein. Next, Age, alone. And Little John with Miller. The rest are on me. Get ready to move out. One time too many. Maybe he has a plan. There's some plan. You can write it on your tombstone.
The tank! Glad to see you. Yeah, everybody's glad to see me. What's your problem, the bunkers? Two of them. All they've shown us are machine guns. Well, we'll show them something else. Give me infantry cover. You got it. Okay, see you on top of the hill. Right. Hey, Kirby, Little John, Miller. Einstein! Feinschmidt! Back of the tank. Einstein, what about those odds? They getting any better? Looking better, Kirby. Looking better. About time. DC the driver. Forward up the road.
Captain's on. Hanley, Captain. We lost the tank. What do you mean you lost the tank? They had a rocket launcher. We couldn't stop them. They had time for one shot, but it's all they needed. We got the left bunker, but we're right back where we started. Well, nothing's changed, Hanley. You still got to take that hill. The 81s are available. You want them? Hanley, you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. I asked you if you wanted the 81s. Yes, sir, I'll take the 81s. Captain, in exactly 10 minutes, have those mortars laid out all the smoke they can on the right bunker. Yes. Oh. We're going again. The reason they've been clobbering us is because they had a perfect field of fire. Well, they don't anymore. The tank's in the way. And we knocked out one of the bunkers. If a rocket launcher can hit the tank from a bunker, a bazooka can hit the bunker from the tank. We've got the 81 millimeters now. They're gonna lay down a smoke screen for us. Kirby, you're the best bazooka man we've got. Pick yourself a loader. Get up to that tank and knock out that bunker. We'll have to move fast before the wind dissipates the smoke. We, oui, Lieutenant. We, oui, Kirby. First you. If you don't make it, somebody else. And if he doesn't make it, somebody else. We, oui, Kirby. <laughs> You can load for me. Check those rockets out, will you? You've got talent, Kirby. You know, I always knew that, that keen eye of yours would get you somewhere. Yeah, about six feet under. Long, long after we won this war, those crowds will still be up there, holding that hill like it was an independent sovereign state or something. The lieutenant sure keeps trying. He sure does. If we don't make it this time, we've had it. You know, it's a one-note tune you're playing, Kirby. I've only got one life, my friend. <laughs> we really going up there again? Yeah, one more time. I can't. If I go back up there again, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, you too? I can tell, I can feel it. But you're feeling that lousy breakfast you had this morning. Now snap out of it. This war's just gotten started. Baby? No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Don't come out here with all the mods and books and everything. I don't even want to know about it anymore. I don't blame you. I know them. I'm scared to death. Hey, Kirby? Yeah? I've been thinking you've been going up and down the hill like a yo-yo all day long. You noticed that, huh? Yeah. What I was thinking was, I, I haven't really hardly done nothing. So how about letting me take the bazooka out, okay? Well, John, you couldn't hit a bunker with this bazooka if you was inside it and you know it. Forget it. Lieutenant picked the right man for the job. I've got no more ideas. This is all I've got. Sounds good, Lieutenant. The smoke it might work. You know, if we get enough smoke, we may have a chance. If the wind comes up anymore, it'll just blow it all away. That's a happy thought. I got a million of them. Oh, come on, where's the smoke? It'll come. The American Army has the finest logistical support in the world. I read that in a soldier's handbook. I hope that book told you how you're gonna get out of this alive.
trouble anyway. Good luck, Kirby. No, I can't lose. Big Moose here wishes me good luck. Now remember, wait till that smoke lays in real good. You're going to need all the cover you can get. Don't worry, Lieutenant. I'll put on an exhibition of taking cover like you never saw before. The bunker. Just get it. We'll do what we can. That's not good enough, Kirby. Get it. I've never taken up mathematics. Just don't know when to hurt you. But I'll worry you two. You're getting smoke. Okay, Jim, you see smoke stop a bullet. Let's get some exercise. Okay, okay. 
and the wounded out in the road. They took the hill! It's ours! No more lousy bunkers. You guys okay? Here. Hey, we did it! Hey, Lieutenant! Come on out! Everybody off the hill! Come on down! We're pulling back all along the line. You're... You're joking! Huh, Lieutenant? No, Kirby. The Germans counterattacked on our right. They broke through. We're pulling back to our original position. What about that road? They are that road. We got it. Yeah, it's all ours. And the bunkers. We knocked them out, Lieutenant. Come on down, all of you. No. We took this hill! This man here, I don't even know his name! He can't come down! Einstein can't come down! And Morgan, he can't either! We ain't coming down, Lieutenant! We took this hill! Come down! Lieutenant, we took this hill! Come down!
Remember that hill. Every ditch and every dip in the ground. It may come in handy the next time. 